Hello and welcome. So in this problem, like it's from Open Middle. It's a great website I like to use. Uh, we're trying to place the digits 0 through 9 in each box without any repeats to make this equation true. So pause the video, try it out, see what you can do, then press play when you're ready to work on it together. All right, so with a problem like this, you, you want to look around to see what's happening. You can see that we're using the distributive property. I think it's important to notice that we get a two-digit number here and a one digit number there. And then it's good to just try stuff. So for example, to get a two digit number, there's lots of things we can try. Uh, what if I try um, three times four? That was nice, right? That gives me 12. And then I'm saying, okay, things are going great. What about three times something that gives me a one digit number? Well, the multiples of three are three, six, nine, 12, and only the first three multiples of 3 get you a one-digit result. So if you put a 1 here, it would work, except you've got to repeat. You've repeated the 3s and the 1s. So it's not working. So now my problem-solving strategy is just to try some stuff to see if I can get this to work. So for example, let's say I say, try something else. 2 times 5. That gives me 10. So far I'm happy with that. I haven't used any repeats yet. And the first couple of multiples of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, I've got four choices here to get a one-digit product. So I'm not going to do 2 times 2 is 4 because that would get me repeats, but I can do 2 times 3. That will get me 6, and there are no repeats there. So with a problem like this, um, there are, I'm sure there are multiple solutions. This is just one, and sometimes the point is just to try something, to, to try until you get it to work. All right, I hope this helped.